Hey guys, we are doing the Stealing Tanks Codex Challenge in Breakdown. Now this requires you to retrieve all the engine components without being seen or undetected. Now this is really simple, especially if you're planning on an easier difficulty. But you need to, well you don't need to, but you should go into this first windmill and go up to the top and acquire a sniper rifle that has a silencer on it. It makes this mission much easier to get this challenge done, but we're gonna go ahead and pick that up and then head back down. Now there are four engine uh, components that we need to salvage. The first one is gonna be just outside of this building once we get out of here. Now there's going to be four enemies down here. There's gonna be two in the middle, right by the fire. Now there's going to be one in the front and then kind of one on the back right. There's the one in the front there. Hoping he doesn't spot me. I am not prepared to uh, initiate combat yet. Now there's gonna be another one. He should be by that tree out in the distance there in front of that building. There he is. Now as I'm kind of going over here, I notice that you can line up a double shot here. So we're gonna take it. Two kills, one bullet. Now the other guys are, are cautious. They're yellow. So they haven't spotted you, you are still undetected. Now remember, at any time, if you get uh, detected, you can just restart the checkpoint. So there's the guy in the back. We just have this one fella left over here. He has no clue what's about to happen. He's gonna get a shovel to his head. There we go. So now we can just safely go over and get the uh, engine part. Now after this, we're going to run down directly to the next one. It's going to be in the village area. The village area has two components that we need to get. First of which is straight in front of us. Now I made a boneheaded move. I forgot about the fourth guy in this next area, so I had to restart checkpoint. But you got the two guys by the fire. You have one guy off to the right by the building in the corner. And then there's actually going to be a fourth guy behind them. Uh, kind of in direct path of where we need to go next. I completely forgot about him. He may path left or right. You just got to keep an eye on him. So I threw a, a casing over there to the right to distract the one guy. Threw another casing to distract this guy here in the center. And the AI is, well, quite frankly, dumb. At this point, you could just walk up behind the other guy, take the uh, part here. Again, I got it on my previous checkpoint. And then I completely forgot about this guy. He may be here. He may be to your left. Just be careful as you're exiting this area to watch out for him. Use your casings in order to distract them. You can get up behind them. So now we're going to go to the next one. And at this point, you should have your silencer on because there is a guy pathing on the road. And if he's, if you see him, uh, you can quickly take care of him. Uh, also take note of the building I'm passing here on the left. There is a collectible in there. And you need to get all the collectibles to get all those codexes. There's also one in that building there. Now this guy... He turned red, but when he does turn red, you do have a moment. You have a couple seconds to take them out. At that point, I should have had the uh, sniper rifle at my ready and took care of him, but he was close enough for me to just go up and melee him. Now, the next part we need to acquire is over here to the left. It's inside of here. Um, this is actually going to be pretty easy as well. There's the one guy there. There's two guys over by the fire once again. And then there's going to be another guy in the opposite corner. Not really going to worry too much about him. So just get up behind him. Probably could just shoot that guy over there, but uh, I just let him be. At this point, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to show, the, throw the one casing to get the far guy to look the other way. Then you can just come in here. You don't even have to kill anybody else. Just one more. Alright, so now we're going to head to the next uh, location. It is going to be across the, the little small river. So once I'm clear of that previous area, I'm going to go ahead and start sprinting. Don't do it too early. Do not want to be detected. As you're approaching all the enemy locations, you got to make sure you're crouched. If you're not crouched, they'll hear you. All right, so you also got to be careful of this windmill here. There's actually going to be a sniper up top. You can probably complete this without really worrying about him, but uh, I'm going to worry about him, you know, just in case. 
So as I get to the river, I'm going to turn around. There's a guy over there too. I'm going to turn around here, take a quick shot, eliminate him so he doesn't come into play. Now the next part is going to be right in front of us. This is uh, going to also be really easy. You'll get the codec as soon as you interact with the, the part, the weapon part. So just be careful. This guy here, I'm going to distract him. They remain distracted for quite a long time. It's kind of silly. And another guy here. I don't know what he's doing here. Fixing the part we're about to steal. I don't know. So go ahead and take that. You unlock the codec. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. See you.